Okay, so this question here takes a little bit more understanding than the previous questions. And it's saying that these two lines don't actually intersect, which means that we can't solve 2px squared minus 6px plus 4p equals 3x minus 7. Another way of saying that we can't have this equals this is to get everything from this side over to the left hand side and 2px squared minus 6px minus 3x plus 4p plus 7 equals 0. There's going to be no solutions to that. So what we've got here is we've got something which looks like a quadratic. So 2px squared plus, in brackets, minus 6p minus 3, if you factorise out the x there, plus 4p plus 7 equals, equals 0. So if we're saying this quadratic doesn't have any solutions, then what we should know is that b squared minus 4ac is less than 0. The discriminant is less than 0 if it doesn't have any solutions. And that's how we've usually done these questions. This question has tried to ask you something slightly different, but with the same meaning. So if you've got two lines which can't intersect, it means there's going to be no solutions to them. So, we're now going to do b squared minus 4ac is less than 0 where a is 2p, b is this minus 6p minus 3, and c is this 4p plus 7. So b squared is going to be this thing squared. Now whenever you have a bracket and you square it, you're going to write it out twice. So minus 6p minus 3 squared is minus 6p minus 3 minus 6p minus 3. Take away 4ac, so that's 4. I put 4ac in brackets, so 4 times by 2p times by 4p plus 7, and that is going to be less than 0. So if we multiply it in whichever method you use, these brackets here, I use the smiley face method, but I know there's foil and there's the, I had a parrot method I used the other day. Um, but yeah, whichever method you use to multiply out those two sets of brackets, that's what you do. And that should give you 36p squared plus 36p plus 9. And then 4 times 2p is 8p. So if you multiply 8p by 4p, that's going to be minus 32p. And then you've got 8p times 7, which is 56p, but then you've got to have minus 56p. And that is less than 0. Then if we tidy all that up, you've got 36p squared to take away... So that should be 32p squared. So 36p squared take away 32p squared is 4p squared. 56p take away no, 36p take away 56p is minus 20p. And you've got this plus 9 on the end, and all that is less than zero, which is what we've got here. Now, in respect of that, they've said for part B, hence. So if they say hence, it means that you've used whatever you've just done in part A. So we've got our answer here. And we've got to find the set values for p so that 4 lots of p squared take away 20p plus 9 is less than 0. So what we've got here is we've got an inequality because it's less than 0. And it's, it's got a p squared there, so it's a quadratic inequality. Now whenever you have a quadratic inequality, we always draw the diagram. So we're going to try and factorise that. Or, and then we're going to sketch it. So we know that it's going to be a p squared, so it's going to be a quadratic. It's going to go through at 9, so when p equals 0, y would be 9. So can we factorise it? It's the next question. Um, so things are going to 9, are, 9 and 1, which don't work. 3 and 3, which doesn't work. Let's try 2p and 2p. and 9 and 1 so that's going to be minus 18p and that's going to be minus 2p which makes minus 20p so yeah it does factorise so we've got the two solutions 2p minus 9 equals 0 so p equals 9 over 2 we've got 2p minus 1 equals 0 so p equals 1 half so it goes through p as a half it goes through p is 9 over 2. So our graph looks like that there. And what we've got to do is we've got to find when this graph 
is less than zero. So there's one bit of the graph that's less than zero, and that's right there. And if we have to describe that using an inequality, that is when p is less than 9 over 2, but greater than a half. Because it's just one bit of the graph. Sometimes, if it said it is greater than zero, then there's two parts of the graph which are greater than zero, which is this bit here and this bit here. So then you need to have two inequalities. But with this question, there's only one bit of the graph which is less than zero. Therefore, we only need to have one inequality, and that's it.